Hi, my name is Randy Johnson, and today we're going to be talking about how to get your significant other to do a three-way. Um, <laughs> confession first. If you are here for a three-way other than a three-way phone call, um, this probably isn't the video for you, and uh, you're probably going to have a, a little bit of a tougher time um, trying to get your significant other to do a uh, different kind of three-way. So anyway, let's have a little fun uh, today. So why did I create this video uh, and write this blog post? Strictly to give you value and give you uh, a different perspective of how important a three-way phone call is. So a lot of times when you're presenting uh, an opportunity to someone, depending on which spouse uh, that you're dealing with, and we all know there's the decision-making spouse and then there's a the supportive spouse. So um, no matter what anyone says, there's typically uh, one or the other. If you're dealing with the supportive spouse, uh, they're going to go to the decision-making spouse and you know be excited about what they're saying. And the decision-making spouse is typically more the dominant one, and and they may not um, respect the the decision or the um, opinion of the non-decision-making spouse. And it doesn't mean that they don't love them. It just, it's just the dynamics of the relationship. So here's why it's important. It's important because it gives you uh, credibility. It gives that spouse credibility. Okay. Second, you're able to help uh, them to come to a decision together if it's the best fit for them. Okay. Third of all, you're able to also help them answer questions that are not... Um, a parent, they they may have questions, and you know, a lot of times when we have questions, that that thing called pride and ego creeps in, and we don't want to look dumb, and you know, don't want to ask questions. But if you're on a three-way phone call, you can kind of sense um, if a person has questions or not. So you know, here's a real big challenge: is when you're presenting an opportunity, find out, say, hey, how do you all make decisions? Do you make a decision by yourself? Are you typically the decision maker? You know, does your 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 wife or your husband make the decisions, or do you all come together, or you know, how do you all What's the dynamic? This will immediately let you know who you're talking to. And second, just train them. Just, you know, train them on what to say to the spouse and then, you know, get them on the phone call and then answer the questions. Some people will do uh, your deal. Some people won't. It's fine. You just want to make sure that you educate them and give them the uh, most information to make the best decision possible for them. So I hope that you got value from this video today. If you did, feel free to comment below. You can reach out to me at meet. Randy Johnson at gmail.com. That's meet M E E T Randy Johnson at gmail.com. Listen, let's have fun. Go out here and have a blast. Uh, hope you got value. Take care. Bye.